If I don't secure a supply of oil quickly, how will I continue the war effort? Huh? In all seriousness, oil is very important in real life and in Minecraft Crate Mod for the same reasons. Without it, there can be no vehicles or ships of any kind. So today, I'm going to build a 3000 block long railway to a distant desert where I can extract oil. Additionally, I'm going to be building a new train equipped with tanker cars perfect for the job of bringing the oil back home. Things are looking pretty good at the colony, I must say. There's lots of improvements happening. I do, in fact, have a third builder's hut now. That is, uh, I'm being, it's being upgraded so that I can work on other buildings nearby. We're upgrading the hospital. We need to upgrade this builder's hut. Pretty soon we're going to upgrade the barracks over there and get even more guards. We've even started planning out a railway that I've been meaning to put here for a long time to go this way. Not sure where that's going to go. We're going to have to see in the future. It would be amiss of me to forget about the drawbridge that we just built or the big sailing ship here that we could take wherever we want, or the cannon uh, to blow up unfriendly sailing ships or ships of any kind, in fact. But today, we're gonna be going a little ways away. Today, we're gonna be going over to this desert a ways away over here in order to get oil. But to do that, we're gonna need a railway. So in order to locate oil, there's a handy device, hopefully, <laughs> called, oh shoot, where did it go? Ah yeah, surface scanner. There's something called a surface scanner, and I need a surface scanner uh, in order to help locate oil. So I need copper sheets, that's easy. I need heavy plates, you just run steel through metal press. And then I need steel mechanism. oh, that looks annoying. What about screws? You just do that with a stone cutter, interesting. You put this in here, and then you get eight screws. Mm, okay, I have aluminum. Okay, so that makes screwdriver. So if I put that there, that turns into heavy plates. So the mechanism starts, and it's only an 80% chance so I may have to do this again. So you start with a heavy plate, and then you deploy a, an ingot onto it, and then aluminum, and then screw, and then a screwdriver. Nice, it worked. And of course it has durability. <laughs> Please work. Yes! Oh, and then a heavy machine casing. Oh, there. This is cool. So this thing should locate oil when you give it rotational power. So uh, hopefully it need. Hopefully I can do it with a hand crank. Otherwise, it's gonna be cringe. It said it's scanning the surface, so it'll detect the nearest one. And I know there's distance 41 blocks. What the heck does that say? Obviously it's portable and also the reading on that thing indicates there's oil nearby, but why would I get oil nearby when I can get it from a desert? This desert to be specific, or probably. I'm actually gonna do some exploring nearby to see what I can find. Maybe there's an even bigger desert or something. I just wanna kinda get a lay of the land. Been looking for this. Wild corn. I'll take that. It's for a Farmer's Delight add-on that I added a long time ago and I just haven't found any of it. I was wondering if we were going to find a Badlands biome and <laughs> not a Mesa, by the way. Definitely didn't think it was called a mesa still at one point, but here Here we go. I don't know if it's gonna be big at all. I'm certainly never gonna run out of poppies Not when literally all of this is poppies good grief Is that an archaeological dig site thing? Oh, what the heck? <laughs> no, I, I don't think that's in vanilla. So this big desert area here is the only flat piece of normal desert. And it is not far. I've kind of charted a path, but I'm going to take the railway, which I'll show you in a minute from a map view. But around here, let's see how much oil we can find. I can't read the machine and also power at the same time. So let me let me make a water wheel, I guess. Here, let's see. Scanning, 79 blocks, 26 blocks, exactly. So I think that means basically at bedrock level. Whoa, sandstorm. Oh no, this is, bruh. 
Let me sleep. Bruh, I haven't hardly been in a desert at all. All right, well, we're gonna be looking for oil in the sand. It should be somewhere around here. And I don't think it's going to be exact. All I can really do is dig down. Oh my God, the sandstorm is down here as well. You gotta be kidding me. No deed back. You love, ooh, look at, look at what we found. That is an oil deposit. I can actually see it and I am a little ways away yet. Ooh, fossil stone. What do I do with that? Anything cool? You can smell it? Okay, cool. Well, here we see the oil deposit. Now let's dig this out a bit and find out if there's any more of it or if it's just the one. What I'm interested in is whether or not it's infinite. And I kind of think it is. I'm gonna go back to the surface, but I'm gonna dig a, a way up on the way there because I know I have to run a pipe from that to the pump jack. And then we're gonna look around for more oil deposits. Where's the next one? A hundred, no, a hundred blocks again. Mm, 16 blocks in that direction, really? Oh, there's one right there. There's one right there. There's another one right there. Ooh, <laughs> there's another one right there. I think we've got ourselves an oil field, if I do uh, say so myself. Five right near here. There may even be, I don't know if we'll find any more, but that's probably enough as well, especially if they're infinite. There might be six over there. So we've got a cluster of them right here. So let's, I think we're sorted with that. We know where we're gonna find oil. It's right in this region. And we're going to construct a railway now. A desert railway, you might say. Obviously, I'm gonna need a whole lot of rails and I thought I was making them, but then I had to put slabs here, which I didn't realize. So uh, not as many as I thought, but we have a dark oak farm now. As of last time, this thing is operational and there's 14,000, yeah, it's working. Yeah, it, it's definitely doing just fine. I need lots of more rails. There's not very many in the machine right now. There's like a thousand or something. And we asked, we're gonna be using the double track machine because it is a double track, although I'm sure there's times where I'm gonna want to make it a single track. Another thing I wanna do is make some upgrades to the double track lane machine. I'm gonna add some more drills onto it, expand the drilling area, and I also am gonna fix the rollers so that they both go in the same direction. The rail is gonna start literally around on the other side of this roundabout here, which is, it's a very perfect roundabout. There's no problems with it at all. Okay, and we're definitely not changing it ever. So we're gonna be going straight in this direction and I <laughs> immediately gonna need another drawbridge. We're just gonna build phantom rails anyway, so we're gonna be fine. No more drawbridges for a little bit. Uh, maybe bridges, I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna be going over here, across some more water. Then we're gonna make a turn and we're gonna be going up this way. So follow the mountain going this way across this river. We're gonna be hugging this cliff here. It is gonna go up, start to go up in elevation more gradually. Then there's a, a cliff here that it's gonna be following until it comes around by the uh, by the village, goes onto this ridge, and then just ends up at the oil field over there. So that's, that's the current plan for the railway. I've already built the exit ramp for the roundabout, so let's get started. If I have to build a bridge, then I'm gonna use probably the same design that I built last time because well, better to have a repetitive bridge design than no bridge design at all, and also save time. <laughs> Interesting thing, this village is not actually glitched. It's underground. This is just the top of one building. And if you look down here, there is an entire village underground for some reason. And it's not a small village either. Look, there's villagers here, there's animals, there's crops, there's iron golems, there's waste stones. Maybe there's something fun we could do with this. We're getting close to having to make the turn west and make the bridge over to the jungle area. This new bridge may end up taking the top spot as the most unrealistic. Train experts on a, on a scale of uh, bad to bad, how bad, how bad is that bridge? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at this, guys. Oh, what the heck? All the gravel's probably gone now. Because there was like a couple blocks and it's like, oh, there's a giant chasm. Let's fill it. What the heck's happening over there? Everything's collapsing. Uh... I hate it when this happens. It did run out. 
Oh, that's so annoying. I have to go back now. Well, as we come up on the village, we're already past where the oil wells are, which is over in this area. I'm gonna make a turn around up here, but we're gonna do this nice and factorial style. We're gonna have it turn around. So this is the way that it's going here. It's going basically left that direction. It's gonna come around back here, and then obviously you can go straight there, but there's gonna be a turn, like a little, uh, I don't know, like an exit basically, and then the parking spot for the train. It's going to go along here and then it's going to connect back up to this before it reaches the turn and heads back and of course i have to fill in some of the curves here but you'll notice even just from the map this is a way nicer looking track anyways let's go ahead and finish digging we're almost done i have a turnaround loop that's pretty good and you can get to either track from it but i will say things are going to be a lot easier here if i can go get the old or the uh the other smaller machine and bring it over here and use it for this spot. No camels on the tracks. For your own safety, it is time to leave. Off the cliff. Goodbye. You're not off the cliff. That's the farthest well to the track, so I can't make it really, uh, very close to that because we're going to need room for the pump jack and other stuff so that seems like a fine distance and it's not hard to move if we need to later but now i'm just going to make it go several hundred blocks in this direction really i mean because it's going to be a big train more probably bigger than the other trains that we already have we're going to need a lot of train cars we need a lot of oil Here we are back at the train designing world where i have to make a new car i have to make a tanker car and maybe a locomotive as well but i need to go do some research look at some pictures so i will be back once i found some cool stuff a new addition to the rail testing yard that's the tanker car design that i've come up with and i think it looks really cool i'm really happy with it the uh, last thing i did was add those kind of supports on the upper side and that's really what made it mm, chef's kiss so we are ready to build these, but what about a train for them? And I did say I was going to make another train, or at least I thought I might, and I did. Behold, this is our old train. Look at the old train. Now look at this. That is the new train. <laughs> it's modeled after the specific German train that apparently a ton of were made. And it's kind of funny because I was just looking on basically Wikipedia at the different stream train designs from different time periods. And I saw that one and I was like, that looks awfully familiar. And I was like, hold on, that's the same train that I chose to make in the Industrial Revolution video or the Industrial Revolution series the second time around. Because I just picked it then. I was like, oh, this is the coolest looking one. And it was the same logic here. So I have a much bigger train. It's got five driving wheels this time instead of just three. And it's also got a bigger boiler. The inside, ironically, is smaller than the other one. But it still has doors and everything. Got spot for two seats. Got everything you need in here. And so I'm pretty much ready to go and build this on the other world. I, I was probably going to make a lot more lag. <laughs> I don't know. But... I think it's going to be worth it. It's a really cool looking train. Uh, a sandstorm. Go home. There better not be a sandstorm here. Go away. <laughs> Don't come back with me. Ironically, my uh, new train is going to be too big for the, <laughs> for the rail yard. So it won't even be able to fit there. I can't build it there either. Also, I seem to be having issues with train signals here. Uh, yes, no train signals here. Let me do that, and then do that. Now the train can keep going. I wonder how long that was waiting. 
So the only place that I can think to do is basically right here, unfortunately. Hopefully this has enough room. Here's my schematic, the first one. This is going to be not fun to get these resources, especially because I need more than double what's here thanks to the framed blocks. Yeah, obviously I need lots of train stuff. We've seen that. I need lots of this stuff. This is easy. The kind of slightly different part is I need a lot of loco metal. And you get it one iron block to eight riveted loco metal. So eight loco metal blocks from one iron. And then you, have, you can dye it and do stuff like that, but it's basically just iron blocks. And it's a good thing I've been letting my iron farm run for a while now <laughs> since I've been gone. Third train, gonna be the biggest train. Let's not waste time. We're gonna need to build a ten. We're gonna build a need four more cars, five more cars after this. Let's get going. Five tanker cars ready to be loaded with 720 buckets of oil each. Is it overkill? Of course it's overkill. But does that mean that it's any less cool? No. It only makes it more cool. So let's go ahead and assemble the train here and hopefully it doesn't crash the game or do anything. But I even had to extend the maximum train distance to make it longer because it's such a big train. Five cars. Well, actually no, it's seven cars, but then five of those. Anyways, let's go in here. Uh, it already comes with glue, so we should be able to assemble it. Why am I in here? I have to do this at the train station. Oops. I should be able to assemble it. Wow, I think it did. That was... I thought it was gonna, like, blow up the computer or something. That's good. What what, what should we name it, though? It's the tanker train for oil. Leave a name suggestion in the comments, and we'll, we'll have to get a conductor at some point, but for now, we just need to name the train, so let me know what you think it should be named. But anyways, that's not good. <laughs> so, I, I put... Can you not? I put campfires in here, because it would be cool and realistic. You could open this up and see the boiler area. But now they're just dumping particles out, and it just looks like it's on fire and about to blow up. So I am going to remove the campfires. Very sad. Where do we want to go first, though? Well, let's just take a, a take a ride around here, around, like, home. And then we're going to go all the way, obviously, to the oil field on our new scenic train route. Look, you can see on the map all the little purple things. Oh yeah, we're going. We are going. Look at that, five tanker cars. Wouldn't it be a new train if I didn't take it on a test drive through the colony to flex my industrial power on the poor colonists. But now we're going to go straight ahead on the tracks all the way northeast up to the oil fields at maximum speed. And we're going to see if I built a big enough off ramp for this or not. Let's get going. Let's uncap the speed.
Here we made it, and I think we fit entirely in the spot that we uh, laid out. Let's go look. Oh, I need to eat. It looks like we... Oh, why is my inventory filled with junk? Oh my gosh. So if we look over here, we have made it all the way in. Don't really want to make it much longer. Probably no caboose on this train or anything like that. But I'm really pleased that we made it here. We've got spots, I think, for half a dozen different oil wells, which we can build. Got five tanker cars, got an awesome railway that we built all the way. And of course, we have an epic train with a combined carrying capacity of about 3,600 buckets of oil in one go, fully loaded. That's pretty nice. We have a new tender car design, a new locomotive. All this stuff's on Patreon, by the way, if you want to head over there and check it out if you're interested. Very important, almost forgot, would not want to forget. We need to name the train. Uh, per the suggestions that I got in the last video, the train is going to be named Pringles. Multiple people actually suggested this. I think it's a good name. It's, it's smaller than Lay's, and you could argue it looks a little bit like a Pringles can. Good job, guys. Next time we're going to be setting up the pump jacks, we're going to be setting up basically oil wells, adding a whole loading facility, bringing it back home, and getting ready to build an oil refinery where we can start turning it into useful products like gasoline, diesel, fuels, all that kind of good stuff. Oh yeah, and uh, sulfur for the gunpowder farm. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button down below. Thanks for watching. I've been Speeve. Hope you have a good rest of your day. And I'll see you guys next time.